Welcome to the sample version of Restructuring Charges and Income. This is a shorter version of our complete web-based tutorial. Why do restructuring charges matter? A restructuring charge can have a big effect on your view of a company's operating results. This chart shows the operating income for a company called Anyco. You can see that the trend in Anyco's operating income is downward. But Anyco's results in 2007 include an $11,588,000 restructuring charge. And the charge is the reason for the drop in operating income that year. What is a restructuring charge? How does it affect our analysis? Is Anyco's earning power really decreasing? You'll find the answers to these questions in the rest of this tutorial. Let's define what a restructuring charge is. A restructuring charge is an expense a company takes when it adopts a plan to make major changes to its business, usually a big cost-cutting program. The charge can include a number of different costs, like asset impairments, employee severance, plant closing, and legal fees. A restructuring charge is an accrued expense. The company estimates the costs and takes the charge when it adopts a restructuring plan. The actual cash outlays occur later. Restructuring charges affect all of the key financial statements. On the income statement, a restructuring charge is an operating expense. Restructuring payments made in later periods are not an income in those periods. On the balance sheet, the charge goes into a liability account. The liability decreases as the company makes restructuring payments. In operating activities on the cash flow statement, any non-cash portion of the charge is an increase when the company first takes the charge. In later periods, restructuring payments are uses of cash. How does all this help us analyze Anyco's operating results? Well, let's take a look at part of Anyco's income statement for 2007. It shows the restructuring charge of $11,588,000 in operating expenses. But the restructuring charge is different from Anyco's other operating costs. It doesn't happen regularly, and management has a lot of control over when it occurs and how big it is. For those reasons, it doesn't belong in our analysis of Anyco's real earning power. We need to look at operating income without the effect of the charge. How do we do that? By adding a restructuring charge back to Anyco's reported operating income to get adjusted operating income of $17,940,000, a better measure of Anyco's sustainable results. Using adjusted operating income changes our view of the trend in Anyco's operating results. Without the restructuring charge, operating income is much higher in 2007. And the trend changes from downward to upward. Anyco's real earning power isn't just higher, it's also improving. Thanks for your interest in our tutorial on restructuring charges and income. It's one of a series of web-based learning and performance support tools available from financial training partners. They're short, so you can use them to quickly learn something for the first time or to refresh your memory on the job. And each comes with its own one-page summary in print form. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at this email address.